Welcome to Subhash Creations. In this video, we will look at the progress on the Chennai Bangalore Expressway. This time, I was able to cover a distance of around 20 kilometers along the expressway from the starting point. There is a good progress at the starting point. They have raised the pillars for the trumpet interchange at Iringa to Kotai. I've tried to show you visually how the trumpet interchange would look like. First, let's look at how someone will exit the National Expressway 7 from Bangalore towards Chennai and how someone will enter NE7 from Chennai towards Bangalore. A trumpet interchange gets the name from the musical instrument called trumpet. This trumpet exchange or interchange is suited for T-junction highways without any signals or stops. Here, uh, National Expressway 7 is merging seamlessly with the National Highway 48. I see they have made quite a good progress on constructing the side curbs and the water drains that slope downwards on the sides. I was shooting this video on a Sunday morning. This time I saw quite a lot of earth moving vehicles, JCPs and bulldozers. Uh, now I am standing at a point where a local road underpasses the NE7. Uh, this kind of shows how NE7 is elevated from the ground level. You can also see the water drains constructed on the sides. This is a major cross point where Sri Parmuthu to Thruvallu State Highway is crossing the NE7. They are doing a lot of earth filling and the road roller is doing its work. Lots of construction materials lying around. And I also see a lot of retainer walls being constructed near the major cross points. Maybe any civil engineer watching this video can comment on why do we need such a tall retaining walls. In my view, the drive on the NE7 may become a scenic one, at least closer to Chennai. This is the second leg that I have seen on the sides of NE7. This is the third leg that I have come across in this stretch. Unlike the last leg, which was on the side of the NE7, uh, this time NE7 is on top of this lake. Hey, it looks very awesome, but the question is, uh, since the pillars are surrounded by water, will the contractor wait for the lake to become dry? If they do, what would be the impact on the completion timeline? Or do you think the con contractor would make some alternate arrangement and then uh, try to keep up the schedule? I don't know, what is this vehicle called? Uh, maybe any construction engineer watching this can comment on. This is just another view of the third lake, a fantastic view. Seems like there is an engineering college on the banks of the lake with a lake view. Uh, there are few stretches where um, I have seen that they have installed the road guard rails on the outer edges. Not sure if they would be installing the guard rails on the other edges. One thing I've noticed in this stretch, lots and lots of power lines crossing an E7. I know uh, Sri Perambuthur is an industrial city with so many power lines. This looks like a forest or a jungle of power lines. I have also observed in some stretches there are compound walls being constructed on the sides of NE7. The one we are seeing right now, uh, I'm not sure if this was constructed by NE7 contractor or by that landlord. I know as part of the construction plan, a compound wall will be constructed on the sides of NE7 to prevent animals entering the expressway. We have now reached the end of my update. I am standing at NE7 crossing Chungwar Sutram Thiruvallur Highway. I will stop here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Bye bye.